Let's everybody just relax. So today, no agenda. I just want to sit down, have a nice chill art session with you. I'm going to talk a little bit, talk about some stuff. We'll, I'm going to use, I have this new, uh, my wife bought me, it's called an, the Hangdian N7 pen. It's a beautiful uh, fountain pen. I have not filled it yet, but I'm going to put some black ink in there, waterproof black ink. So that way I can draw and use watercolor at the same time. And the, it's pretty cool because the, the piston that's in here, you can see it. And you can see a good part of, I think you can see it. Yeah, you can see it. And then it, it kind of has a whole like section right here that's transparent. So I could actually see when it's filling up with ink. That way I know how much I have left, which is wonderful. You just put it up to the light. You can see through about this much of it beautiful and it has this great designs on the cap here wonderful it's a beautiful pen i want to make this my daily writer it's very comfortable in the hand it's a little bit thicker which is i like that it's a little bit heavier and you can you can just hold on to it and just draw for a long period of time it's got a black nib which i also like it's beautiful it's a beautiful pen i'm going to try and use this sometime i don't really know what i'm doing i'm going to do some kind of painting drawing thing I haven't done it yet, so I have no idea what's going to happen, but we're going to see. I'm just going to chat with you a little bit. All right, let's get into it. All right, so I've been enjoying doing these kinds of sketches. This has no ink on it whatsoever. I've just been, in my sketchbook, I've just been doing these things. One day I'm going to go through one of my other sketchbooks. I've been filling up with this stuff. But just doing little sketches that make me happy. That's all I'm doing. This is nothing that I would put on the channel usually. I'm just trying to do some stuff and I get excited about it I like and I enjoy doing it this is actually all with the white knights granulating set it's just it comes out very nice but I'm gonna try something else there's another thing that I'd like to do so I'm not gonna pay attention to what I'm doing here I'm not gonna talk about it I'm just gonna talk about other things and I'm gonna paint while I talk about it now the first thing that I want to mention is that so I ordered some of those core paints and what happened was some extra core paints and I ordered them from Dick Blick and they sent me this mop brush here and it was on accident. They didn't mean to send it to me. It's a silver brush. It's like a number 60 quill. I've never seen anything so big in my life and I've never used a quill before, but I wanted to, but I've just never used one before. The thing is they left out a small tube of one of the paints, which is like $11 and instead shipped me this brush, which is like a $50 brush. So I called them immediately and I said, listen, this is what happened. You sent me the wrong thing and it's 50 bucks and I feel like I'm ripping you off. So they said, don't worry about it. We'll send you the paint anyway. Keep the brush, do whatever you want with it. And you don't have to ship it back. Because that's the kind of people that they are over there. And I'm not trying to tell you anything. I'm, they didn't ask me to plug them. They didn't know that I was even making this video. They... There no one sponsoring this. I just wanted you to know that they're good people over there. This is probably the second time that this has happened in years, though. I mean, maybe like 10 years or more since I've been buying from them. And they've gone ahead and said, look, just keep whatever we sent you on accident. Don't worry about it. And I was expecting them, you know, a $5 charge to ship it back to them. That's what I expected. You know, not for me, that they would pay $5 to have it sent back for a $50 brush. But they were like, no, don't worry about it. Go ahead and enjoy it. So, they're wonderful people over there. I do appreciate them. And if you ever have to call them and talk to them, they are amazing help. They will just, they'll help you with anything you need help for. So, let's all go to Blix for a party. And this actually came at a perfect time because, listen, I don't ever take anything personally. I don't ever think anybody's being nasty. But I think... That the person that commented thought that I was thinking that they were being... Can you follow that? They, I thought, they thought that I thought that they were being a little bit nasty. But they were not doing that. It was just an honest question. And it was a legitimate question. And I've been asked this many times before. But they said, hey, listen, can't you like afford like a nice real watercolor brush? How come you're using these, these pens all the time? These water brushes all the time. They... And so that's a valid complaint, not a complaint. That's a valid observation. As an artist, how come I'm not using watercolor brushes when I paint with watercolor? That's that's valid. That's a valid question. And really, the answer has been because generally I have some equipment on my desk. I have 
some hard drives and I have my uh, audio interface and things and and I have been known to spill so I if I have like three different containers of water on my desk I can spill something very easily without even trying I just go to reach for something and knock something over and I don't want to do that on top of that I have my desk is has like a it's a it's basically a particle board desk with a very nice paper laminate top on it but it's just paper so and it's laminated though I mean it's you know it doesn't scratch very easily but it's already scratched a little bit and if I knock water on it it starts to bubble a little bit and then that ruins the desk immediately so I have to be very careful when I use this desk and that's what I try and do I'm trying to be very careful so that's usually why I don't do that however I need to paint a little bit more with some watercolor brushes on the channel because I actually enjoy painting that way. I really do. It's just that I usually don't because of that reason. I'm just trying to not ruin anything that I have. But really, I should. I should use some more watercolor brushes, and I will in the future here and there. It's just easier to grab the water brush and just do whatever I'm going to do, and I get the same result for me. But other people have issues with those brushes, and I should be able to use regular brushes so that they can see what I'm doing. All right, now let's get down to more of the meat and potatoes of this talk. What was I going to talk to you about? Does everybody know that reference? Is that a universal thing? I hope it is. What I'm saying is this is the main course right here. So anyway, if you've noticed anything on YouTube recently, you've noticed a bunch of people that are saying, I'm leaving YouTube, I'm quitting, it's too much, I, I put all my time and energy into this, I've been doing it for 10 years, and it's not worth it for me anymore. And I just want you to understand, first of all, I'm not going anywhere. I don't ever plan on going anywhere. My plan is that this is going to be my last job that I ever do. The last thing I do is going to be an artist. That's what I want to do. And if I'm going to be an artist anyway, I might as well show you and put it on YouTube and build community around it. So there's nothing wrong with that. I enjoy doing it. I would like to retire doing this for the rest of my life. I'm not saying I don't enjoy my job. I have a decent job. I really do. And I enjoy it. And I just, I just got a promotion. I'm very excited about that. But that doesn't mean that that's what I want to do for the rest of my life. If I had to, I'd be fine with it. If this never took off and I had to do that the rest of my life, I'm happy doing that job. I love to do it. I love a lot of the work that I do, so that's that helps. But really, when I'm done, when I'm retired, when I'm this is the last thing that I want to be doing. So I plan on being here for a very long time. You don't have to, unless something catastrophic happens, you never know what's going to happen. But I have no plans on ever leaving and, and not doing this anymore. Even if I'm just talking to myself, I really don't care. I just enjoy doing this. But there are people that are saying, well, this is just so frustrating and aggravating. But you have to understand, there's a lot of pressure here because most people, I don't care. But most people are trying to top their last video. And what can I do that's so much better to my last video and get more views? and get? I'm just doing what I'm doing and the views are coming, and then uh, definitely, the, I'm trying to listen to you. If you want to see something, then I want to try and do something, if that's something that I'm going to be doing. But uh, I'm not, I don't try and outdo my last video. Like, this video will probably get not nearly as many views as my previous videos, because it's, it has nothing to do with any one thing that people are searching for. It's just me talking to you. I'm not even talking about a particular art style or anything. I'm just talking to you and I'm doing something while I talk to you. I'm letting you watch me paint a little bit. So that's fine. But I just, I'm not concerned. There's, you have no idea how much time people put into this. They're, they're though they, they research these topics and they go look at all the competitors, YouTube channels and what views did they get on this topic? And then I'm going to do that same thing. And, they, I mean, they're like heavy into, it's a lot of pressure, especially if you're doing this on the side of your regular job. If you have a full nine to five job or whatever, just a full time 40 hour a week job or more, and you try and do this, you you can't put that much pressure on yourself. You're, I, I don't look at this as a side hustle. Okay, I hate that word. I don't like that idea at all. It's not a side hustle for me. I'm just doing what I'm going to do anyway. I'm just sharing it with you. But I was going to paint this stuff anyway. 
I was going to do these things anyway. I may not do the exact thing that I was going to do. I may have done something else, but I'm going to paint anyway. I'm going to draw anyway. So I'm just sharing that with you. It's not stressful for me at all. This is my downtime. This is my relaxed time. This is my chill time. This is when I get to just be alone with my own thoughts and create something. And now I get to share that scary head of mine with you and all the different things that run around in my mind. So that's wonderful. And, and some of you actually like that. I don't know. Maybe maybe something's wrong with you too. I, I'm not insulting my audience. Just don't worry about that. No, I, I enjoy talking to you. I enjoy the interaction when you guys write something to me. And when someone brand new comes on the channel and they're like, I have no idea what you're doing right now. You're not doing what other artists do. I, you should be doing this. That's fun for me. But mostly, I just want to, I enjoy just sharing things with people and making them smile once in a while. That's another big thing. I enjoy helping people smile because there's a lot of crap that the day sucks a lot of the time. So when they can sit down, watch a video and chuckle or laugh or have a good time, that's wonderful for me. I love doing that. There's a lot of different reasons and positive ideas around why I like doing this. But And this helps me too. It's good for my mental health to be able to say, okay, I'm going to put this much time aside every week to create something that I want to create and share it with people that I want to share it with and then interact with those people after they watch it. It's just, it's good for me too. That's why I say I don't take myself very seriously. When someone criticizes something that I'm doing, I, it's funny to me. I don't understand it. But, and that's not always bad criticism. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just, when people are like, hey, how come you didn't put the salt on the paint when you were reviewing it? I want to know what it's like when I put the salt on. Well, then go put salt on your paint. You'll see what happens. But that, and let me tell you, that video, that cooking with watercolor video took off. People loved it. I mean, it was like one of my most viewed videos ever in, in the short span of time. It's just amazing. People just like to laugh. That's the whole thing. We like to have fun with stuff, and they see it too. They're like, oh yeah, I saw there's a lot of other artists doing that kind of thing, and I don't understand why they do it, and you're making fun of that, and I think that's funny. And I am making fun of it. But also, oh, let me tell you, people are writing in like crazy. Well, how come you didn't try this, and how come you didn't try this? A part two is coming. I promise you that. I'm going to do a part two, Cooking with Watercolor. And I'm, I've got a lot of suggestions, a lot of ideas people are sending me. We're going to get into that. We're going to do all those things that people are sending. So if you have another idea that you want me to try, let me know. I want to put it in the video. So let me know now and we'll try and work that in. Where was I? I have no idea. I don't even know how I got here. But anyway, this is where I am right now. So, well, there's a, that's right. People leaving YouTube. Okay, so they put a lot of pressure on themselves and then they walk away and I don't, I, I will never do that because I don't put that much pressure on myself. And I know maybe in 10 years, after I've been doing this for 10, 15, whatever years, maybe I start to say, man, this is kind of tough. And we'll just got, but I don't do that right now. I enjoy doing this. So I'm not even thinking about that kind of thing right now. What do I always say? Because I love to do this, what do I, I say? If you're not enjoying yourself, you're doing it wrong. If you're not having fun, you're doing it wrong. This is fun for me. This isn't something that I have to worry about and stress out about. Oh no, I gotta, I gotta do this. I, I have to. I can't disappoint people. I'm just creating art. I'm gonna do it anyway. And if I miss a video, I miss a video. I haven't yet. In three years, I haven't missed a video. But it could happen. Who knows? And here a lot of people, a lot of artists, like, oh, I don't even know what to do anymore. What else am I gonna do? I've already done all the videos. That's like saying I've painted everything I'm going to paint in my life or I've drawn everything I'm going to draw in my life. If you're going to paint again or you're going to draw again, just record it. That's not difficult. You just you do it in the same spot that you've been doing it all these years and you just record the same thing and share it. You don't have to have... People are, are nuts with this stuff. They have like teams of people. So... I would have someone writing a script for me and I would have someone recording this and someone editing this and someone filling in things and just crazy stuff. I just don't get it. Just You don't have to do that. You don't have to go crazy about stuff. You can just be a one-person show. That's what I'm doing. It's a one-person thing. 
and I'm I do the recording, I do the editing, I do the voiceover stuff, I edit that, and it's not very difficult. It may take some time. You don't have to release a video every week. Do one once a month. Just something if they, if you want to pull away a little bit. Most of those people spend like a month doing one video anyway. Because they have teams of people working on these videos. And everybody's got to coordinate their times. And they have a, a staff and a, 10 employees. And I don't even understand how that would work in a YouTube setting. How do you employ 10 people for a video like this? It just doesn't make any sense to me. It's, and I know they usually don't do a video like this, but even if I did all those jump edits, oh, we're going to get to that in a minute. But if I did, did those jump edits and all that weird stuff every five seconds, you're switching camera angles. And even if I did that kind of crazy stuff, you'd have one person doing that for you, not 10. You so what are the other people doing there? Oh, they're, this person does the thumbnails, and this person researches topics, and this person does the editing, and this person does the voiceover. And it, like, oh my goodness, what, what are you doing? This thing is just, let me know what you think. Are people going crazy that they, I mean, they're like, some of them are like 25 years old. They're like, oh, I can't do this anymore. It's so hard. I, I don't understand it. it you, if, if you're 25 years old, and this is too hard for you, you better buckle up. There's This is the easiest thing I've ever done in my life because there's no one here. There's, there's I just It's just me and my camera and I have a microphone and then I do some editing, publish it, and then you watch it and you say, oh yeah, that was funny. What, what was stressful about that? Now you could have this as your main job. This could be your main thing and you're always looking for different ways to make money and then sometimes YouTube goes ahead and cuts your your viewing ads and all this other stuff. But in the meantime, you can still be selling art. You can still be uh, making brand deals where you're getting paid outside of YouTube. It's not just all the ad revenue. You could be paid for whatever. So, so there might be stress if this is your real job and you see your views start to tank a little bit or you know, something starts to happen, but really you should, if you're building this like a business, if this is your full-time job, you should be setting things up. Some things should be in place where you're getting brand deals and you're, you're making money somehow you're doing different things and different projects. And, and those things kind of work together when you do this and you don't always see all the options right away, but as you move forward, like I'm seeing options now that I didn't see six months ago, but it's just, you can do different things. And I don't like to brag about you, but if you have a wonderful audience like I have, they help too. So it's, it's a little, they help relieve some of that stress, that's for sure. And sometimes life gets hard. And every job gets a little difficult sometimes. Sometimes you stress a little bit. But that doesn't mean that you quit. You, you, if you, de if, oh, I depend on this. I have to pay my bills on this. That's it. I quit. Does that make any sense? You just were stressing that you weren't making enough money and now you're making nothing because you walked away. It doesn't make any sense. But let me tell you something else. These people that are walking away, they are probably making seven figures and they have for years and they probably are losing money by creating videos because they can make more money doing other things. And that's really the real story of it. All right, I have been rambling on for like 15 minutes now. And those are 15 minutes you're never going to get back. Most people don't care about this. Oh, boy. That's, uh, that's, that's terrible. I apologize for that. No, if you're still listening at this point, that's on you. That most people have clicked off this video like 10 minutes ago. They, they're like, what is this guy talking about? I have no idea what he's doing. Is he painting? Is he going to talk about what he's doing? Or is he just going to ramble on about everybody else and everything else except for what he's actually doing? Maybe he should quit. That would make a lot more sense than whatever this is. They don't know, but you know because you're still listening at almost a 20 minute mark. So that's just, that's how my audience is. They just listen to me ramble and they appreciate that and I appreciate them. So I will mention this, what I'm doing, even though in the beginning I said I wouldn't. But this is a type of art that I was, I saw someone else doing. They were doing these single color studies. 
And I said, oh, hey, that would be really interesting just to see how I want to lay the shadows out and how I want to... The, in the front there, at the bottom there, it just it did not come out at all the way that I wanted it to. But but everything else, I'm, I'm fine with. I have no problem with it. I think it came out fine. I'm going to do some more of these. I don't know if I'll put them on this channel, but definitely going to do some more of these. There's some good times. I, I had fun making this whole thing and trying to keep the thing wet the whole time I was working on it so things would spread evenly and it was very it was an interesting study for me and I encourage you if you've never done just a monochromatic study of something I, I cheated a little bit because I'm using this hematite genuine I think it is the, no not the hematite genuine that's the different paint brand I'm using the white knights granulating colors I don't even remember what color I was using I don't know what the name of this color is, but it's very nice because it does separate and there's two slightly different colors in it. The Hematite Mist? That might be it. It might be the Hematite Mist. It's a pretty color. I absolutely love it. So I'm cheating by doing a monochromatic study with a color that separates. So I'm rigging the game. That's what I'm doing. That's how I play this thing. But I highly recommend you try it. It was very fun. I enjoyed this thoroughly. Thumbs up the video if you are going to try this painting and you don't care about anything that I've said so far. You weren't paying attention. You might have dozed off a couple of times. You you got so busy doing what you were doing, you don't even realize that this is the end of the video. It's just going to stop talking and you're going to be like, oh, is it over? You're not even going to know what just happened. And that's fine. I don't mind that. I don't mind when you do stuff like that. As long as you're watching the video, I'm fine. And just let it play till the end. That's great. All right, you know the drill. If you would like to join our community, go to illustrationsbypete.com. You can come in, you can put your own artwork on the site and promote it. You can find some inspiration in the free reference photos. You can just use them however you want in your artwork. You do not need to credit me. Or you can come into the forums and talk to some people and maybe give some advice and maybe find a little bit of information that helps you. So come check us out. All right, that's about it for me. I'm going to go. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.